Hi, I am Harsha here. In this video, I try to cover some important points about hydronephrosis in pregnancy. Hydronephrosis is defined as distension of the renal calyces and pelvis with urine as a result of obstruction of the outflow of urine distal to the renal pelvis. Hydrourethra is defined as the dilatation of the ureter. Hydronephrosis or hydrourethra is a normal finding in pregnant women. The renal pelvises and calicial system may be dilated as a result of progesterone effects and mechanical compression of the ureter at the pelvic rim. Dilatation of the ureters and renal pelvis is more prominent on the right side than the left side and is seen in up to 80% of pregnant women. The mechanical compression may be due to the enlarged uterus that compresses the ureters or vascular compression on the ureters. Hormonal changes usually occur usually causes as they may reduce muscular contractions that normally help push urine through the ureters. These changes can be visualized on ultrasound examination by the second trimester and they may not be resolved until 6 to 12 weeks postpartum. According to the European Journal of Obstetrics, Gynecology and Reproductive Biology, hydronephrosis in pregnancy typically occurs after the 20th week of pregnancy as the enlarging uterus may compress the ureters. According to Australian and New Zealand Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, there is no correlation demonstrated between the degree of hydronephrosis and the levels of estradiol, progesterone and 24-hour urinary estradiol excretion. The birth weight of the fetus and its relationship with the pelvic inlet measurements also did not correlate with the occurrence of hydronephrotic changes in the kidneys. The only significant positive finding was a higher incidence of moderate and severe hydronephrosis occurring in patients with right-sided placenta than compared with the left. Their results support the hypothesis of a mechanical etiology in the genesis of pregnancy hydronephrosis, where Vascular compression on the ureters may be an important contributory factor. Their study also has shown that urinary tract infection and reduction of creatinine clearance were not more common in patients with moderate or severe pelvic aliceal dilatation. The important symptoms For a blockade that occurs quickly, intense intermittent pain between the ribs and hips can be excruciating. A blockage at both kidneys can result in not being able to pass urine. Those who develop hydronephrosis slowly may not notice symptoms at all. Regarding detection, the European Journal states that though mild blockages may occur in the majority of pregnancies, more problematic hydronephrosis cases can be easily detected through ultrasound technology. Grades of hydronephrosis on ultrasound imaging Basically, it is divided into mild, moderate, and severe. In mild hydronephrosis, mild dilatation of the pelvis as well as the calyces are present. While in moderate hydronephrosis, show cupping of the calyces with moderate dilatation of the pelvis and calyces. In severe hydronephrosis, marked dilatation of the pelvic calyces with severe thinning of the renal parenchyma will be present. This image shows mild dilatation of the pelvis as well as the calyces of the right kidney suggesting mild hydronephrosis. The left kidney also appears to be affected similarly. This must be differentiated from mild dilatation of the renal pelvis alone called splitting of the pelvis which is physiological and transient. This means that on emptying of the urinary bladder this appearance should disappear. The above ultrasound images show cupping of the calyces with moderate dilatation in the right kidney of the pelvis and calyces. Despite the hydronephrosis, the renal parenchyma is still preserved. These images show marked dilatation of the pelvic calyces with severe thinning of the renal parenchyma. It is in these images almost total absence of normal renal tissue. Grading of hydronephrosis according to calycial dilation. It is divided into grades 1, 2 and 3. Grade 0 is 0 to 5 mm. That is minimal separation of the central eco-complex. 
grade 1 is 6 to 10 millimeter grade 2 is 11 to 15 millimeter and grade 3 is more than 16 millimeter in which a large sonolucent sac occupies a major portion of the kidney hydronephrosis of pregnancy is cured after the baby is born however the renal pelvis and ureters may stay swollen after birth lying on the unaffected side helps to elevate the symptoms during pregnancy most hydronephrosis cases occur on the right side so lying on the left side may provide some relief when symptoms persist and there is a fear of renal failure an indwelling ureteral catheter may be inserted for more serious cases the digital urology journal suggests ureteral stenting which is insertion of a thin tube into the ureter to prevent kid or treat a blockade of urine from the kidneys Serious cases can also be treated with an establishment of percutaneous drainage to help the pain relief and to prevent spontaneous renal rupture. During a percutaneous drainage procedure, a thin needle is inserted into the fluid to help drain access urine. Induced labor and an epidural block for pain are the final steps for severe cases that can't be helped by other means.